The perfect full body workout. The goal of this workout is to increase strength, build muscle, and the exercise density is gonna help you to get leaner in less time. Whether you're at home or at a busy commercial gym, this workout is efficient so that you can see results much quicker. I'll give you the reps, sets, and frequency of the program on the other side of the exercise descriptions. And of course, I'll have a power tip for you as well. Let's get right into it. I like to start you off with the goblet reverse lunge because many people don't do enough unilateral work and develop imbalances. And as you can see, this targets the glutes, the hamstrings, of course, the quads. But I like the goblet hold because what it does is ask your core to work a little harder and that gives you a little bit more definition in your midsection. Now I've slowed the speed down because what I want you to do in your own workout, I want you to take your time, do one rep at a time and be deliberate. So the bent over dumbbell row, this is my favorite position for this exercise. I see people do it with other variations, but as you can see here, you're almost perpendicular so that when you pull, it's all lats and you're not using a bunch of other accessory muscles in the process. Also, having you on your feet, ask your hamstrings, your glutes, and your core to stabilize. It's one of my favorite exercises, the dumbbell goblet squat. I love this because it's pure quads. Of course, you're getting hamstrings, but for people who have a hard time squatting, as you can see, you take your time, you keep the quads and the glutes engaged, and it also helps because you see here, I'm going just below parallel. You don't wanna rush through this exercise, and when you get to the bottom, you wanna make sure you push through your heels so you really activate and engage everything. And of course, the goblet hold asks your upper body to stabilize, which gets your core involved in a tighter midsection. The incline dumbbell press. This is the only exercise where you're gonna be off your feet during the whole exercise. Make sure, as you see, the elbows come down to about parallel. If you dip below parallel, you may get a little bit of shoulder pain, so you wanna watch that. As you see here, keeping the chest high, an arch in the lower back, and really get that good squeeze at the top. Again, don't rush through these exercises, be deliberate, and you'll see results much quicker than if you rush through it. The dumbbell deadlift, this is similar to traditional barbell deadlift, but what I like about this is it can accommodate any range of motion. The key here is to make sure you keep your back flat, and as you rise up to the top, you wanna to squeeze your glutes at the top to really engage your lower back, and yes, engaging the lower back does engage your core. If you're a little bit weaker, the dumbbell deadlift is perfect because you can use lighter weights and you won't have to use a 45 pound bar with no weight on it. Keep a good rhythm, take your time and squeeze at the top. Single arm shoulder press. This is a great exercise for building the shoulders, especially for people who tend to have one side more dominant than the other. I put my hand behind my back because what that does is it really forces my core to engage to keep stable, keep the glutes tight, and you want to make sure that you get that full range of motion going all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. And again, being on your feet, believe it or not, it does burn more calories. The less time you spend on your back or on the floor, the better, and you get more of a calorie burn. You're gonna perform this program three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Day one, you'll do 12 reps. Day two, you'll do 20 reps. Day three, you'll do eight reps. The following week, you'll repeat. You're gonna rest two days, and on those two days, you can do non-strength training activities. When you do your workout, you're gonna do a lunge and then go to a row, then a lunge and a row, because that will give you a little extra rest period between movements, and you can go as heavy as possible. A power tip. I like to begin my strength training sessions with a little movement preparation. I'll begin with a mountain climber. I'll do 20 repetitions, and then I move into a traditional plank and a side plank. This should take you not even five minutes to complete all three, and then you move on into your strength training. This is especially important for those of you who are trying to reduce the size of your midsection as you lose body fat. Don't skip this if you need to lose your midsection. So you see here, you do your plank, and then after the plank, you're gonna move into a side plank 
You're gonna hold both of those for 30 seconds and then you're done and then you move on to your strength. Watch this video next. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers. It's a slow trickle. And I know I still have a long way to go to improve my editing and my filming skills. I'm in no rush. I'm taking my time. I'd love to hear comments on a video that you'd like me to do.